good afternoon and welcome back to GCS Machinery. Right, it's Tuesday afternoon and I'm just heading off to view a sale for, it's been held tomorrow, being run by Cheffins, brilliant auctioneers, brilliant, I've been doing this for a very long time, very professional what they do. Um, for a, a local machinery business called um, Ireland's Farm Machinery. Now, one or two of you may have heard of them, I don't know. Um, but they do, I think they're machinery dealers, but I think more new, new stuff, certain products are new. Um, I think they do, they do Kubota tractor sales. Yeah, Kubota tractor sales. Um, they do John Deere tractor hire. Um, and, tra and some trailer hire. Um, and I think you look at their advertising, it does make me laugh a bit, this, okay? They claim to be Lincoln Shears premier trailer hire business. Hmm, not sure. Anyway, they're having a, um, like a dispersal sale tomorrow. And um, so I'm gonna go along and have a view today and have a look and see what's there. So, uh, we're going to have a look. Alright, we're here. Islands Farm Machinery. And I've got to say, what a superbly presented sale this is. And I'll show you more, but it is. It's beautifully presented. And I'd have to say, in a beautiful yard, I have to say, very envious of this yard here. It's a credit to... Uh, Island Farm Machinery, and then those that know me will know um, how hard that is for me to admit, but it's it's a beautiful depot, and this is a beautifully laid out sale. So uh, we're gonna have a look around. Look All these tractors are actually gleaming, looking very smart, very well presented. JCB Teddy Handers here as well. I think he's all part of the hire fleet. Now you just hear that we're not the only ones that have this uh, white JCB lettering come off the side of these JCBs. Seems to be a common thing. Another one there, the same. It's not just me then. See, that's how it should look. I like that one there. That's how they all end up looking. Like that. So it's not just GCS like that. Stuart Traders from the, the, the high fleet here. Again. Beautifully well presented. That's rather smart, isn't it? The racking there for the sheets. Very well organised. Keeps them safe, keeps them clean. We need, we need something like that. So, uh, definitely, yeah. Probably not that hard to make either, really, is it? So, something there we need to get on with and do. Now that's a really good idea. Having the stickers in the cab there that you peel off as the services happen. You see that? That's a good idea. That's something that GCS probably need to uh, adopt on there. So yeah, very good idea. Every day's a learning day, isn't it? Every day's a learning day. And this is certainly one of those days. So we're just going to have a look around on these other bits here. There's a spare, must be some few spares are setting off. Bits and pieces, so... Uh, but have a look. But still say what a beautifully presented yard. I like the red posts outside the doors and the chains there to put across. So uh, yeah, it's a credit to them. Absolute credit to them. Nice Bailey trailers here all lined up. On flotation tires. Very good. I'm guessing that part of the island's higher fleet that was. It is. Maybe. Um, Nice baby fuel bars there, that looks in good order. In fact, it looks almost new, doesn't it? I'm guessing that's got ab blue in it as well. Yeah, there's the ab blue tank in the back. Nice bit of cap. Yeah, nice trailer. 
few trailer extensions, a couple of Bailey sheets, a set of Bailey sidey sides. I think there's some more of them somewhere. It's a nice uh, Stuart flat traders there. 201 super singles, one of them there on flotations. So we've got some of ours with um, smooth floor. And these, are all, these are all on a checker plate floor. So, what do customers prefer? Do you prefer a checker plate or do you think it make much difference? But, so there's some nice trailers there. Some more Bailey trailer sides. A nice wash down bay. Look at that. This, is, this really is a really, really nice depot, isn't it? It really is quite smart. So, a lot of pride must be in this for what they've achieved. That was nice, sir. Two gentlemen there that uh, watch us on YouTube. So, rather cool, rather smart. So we've got some uh, potato equipment here. Sort of a ridge, I don't know, some sort of very early basic ridge system, is it? I don't know. All sorts of stuff here. All sorts of stuff. What's that? Is that? Dutch Struik, or well, how you pronounce it, I'm not really sure. There's an old potato planter here. I think, I'm guessing potatoes, is it? Maybe not. Don't know. I could actually look in the catalogue, couldn't I, and have a look. It would probably be a sensible thing to do. There we go, it's an onion, onion planter. So, uh, Various other, what have we got there? 195. Oh, onion topper. Two onion toppers there. So, uh, anybody in the market to hire one of those? Let us know. But let us know very quickly, then we can buy these tomorrow. <laughs> but the trouble is, this video will go out probably after the sale. So, uh, <laughs> that plan has certainly got some flaws in that one, hasn't it? And there we go. There we go. Convern the three metre power hour there. Brand new. Year 2020, so it's four year old, but brand new. Oh, well, wheels and tyres there. So I must take, certainly take a lot of pride and care in getting these tractors ready. All the tyres have been backed up. Senzo tyres. Same as we fit here at GCS. Good tyre from, yeah, had some results for those. 130, not at 130 there. So we looked at Double Days the other day, when, um, sorry, Double Days, Ben Burgess, when we were looking. And maybe we need some smaller tractors like that in the fleet. They've certainly been cleaned and, and, and very well presented. Beautiful rail tractors there. Beautiful rail tractors there. I'd be very proud if they were mine. Oh, it was a 130, an M series. Again, you don't see many M series in the world of agriculture. 9,420 hours. Hmm. For a tractor of the age. Very, it looks very, very good. Very, very good. So, very, very smart line of tractors there. And some Kubota. I don't know very little about Kubota tractors. Or well, recently, 2022. 2021. So, what a super presentation. Still can't help but comment what a super depot this is, and uh, certainly I would like to own this depot without a doubt. Very well laid out, very thought, loads of concrete, which is good. Absolutely ideal, absolutely ideal. So, if we keep saving the pennies, who knows? Morning, it's sale day, so we're back at uh. Ireland's Farm Machinery for their 
dispersal sale, clearance sale, whatever. I don't know quite how you want to call it. Um, I have to say, as I said yesterday, this is one of the most well presented sales that I have been to in a long time. And I'm sure the effort they put into it will make sure that stuff makes a premium rate when it goes under the hammer shortly. But uh, anyway, we'll see what the auction brings. We've got Michelle here as well. Hey, hey Michelle, say hello. Hi. Michelle did sort of mutter hello there, quietly. Right, let's go. I also got to comment again, what a lovely, fantastic depot oh, no. this is. <laughs> and just when you thought the depot was perfect, you find they've missed to put a bolt in the in the Stuart trailer sign. But there we go. Other than that, I have to say, it is a very smart depot, apart from the bolt missing in the Stuart sign. And uh, and what a well laid out sale. If this was mine, I'd be extremely proud of this, I have to say, no question. Once again, we are supported, look, we're with the GCS, with the GCS hat on. I have the feeling you won't be the only person here today flying the GCS flag at the uh, Ireland's Farm Machinery Dispersal Sale. Good. Some of the uh, workshop equipment here in the sale. I bet that dates back a bit. There's a mini lemon about now, there. Probably time for an upgrade. That's what we need at GCS to set brake rollers like that. So uh, I think that'll be on the shopping list next. Trailer, hard on 40 is got, every trailer somewhere around where we're going to be 25 for it, shortly 25. 
Right. Well, that's the end of the sale. Um, interesting sale. Um, quite a bit different to normal. And uh, but yeah, been a good sale. Stuff made most amazingly how much stuff is actually sold online today. An awful lot of stuff sold online. Um, so it'll be quite interesting to see where it appears in the future, won't it? Well, we were just about to leave to sail the island farm machinery and bumped into this very, very nice gentleman here and he mentioned having a GCS machinery hat. So there we go, he's got his hat. Thank you very much. See, we keep finding these people, which is really kind, they're reading the kind words they say. He watches our YouTube channel. So uh, we thank you very much for that. Have you had a good day? Had a good day, yes. You had a good day, so there you go. Right, right, we're going home, crack on. Nice okay. to meet you. That was a sale, the difference. Um, I've got to say, first of all, the, sh the machinery at this sale, I've said it before in the earlier in the video, but I just want to reiterate, absolutely fantastically presented by Eilish Farm Machinery. Never seen a sale where it's been so well put together. The presentation was good. The depot itself, absolutely fantastic. Awesome. And I, what I would love to have that, although we have got a new building going up this year, so keep watching this space. You never know. Um, yeah, great sale. Amazed me the amount of stuff actually sold to online bidders. A, a high, a high proportion of that stuff. So, um, be interested to know how much it went into trade and how much it went into end users. That's for sure. And um, we'll see where some of them tra end up and traders end up in the future, won't we? So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching GCS video. Thanks for con the continual support we're getting from our followers. Please click and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. And I think. There's probably going to be another farm sale that we've got coming up at the weekend. So, uh, thank you very much. See you soon.